glory eradicates story story is a sequence of events aimed at pain and regrets Glo story is a sequence of events aimed at pain and regret when things begin to happen around your life and the ultimate is that the enemy wants you to experience pain and experience regret when things begin to happen around your life the enemy wants you to lead to pain story is is an orchestrated happening by hell and its agents it is not hopeless when God is involved it's not hopeless when God is involved stories anything that attracts pity stories when you become a question story is when those who should envy you begin to pity you story is when your family is known for nothing but reproach story is when people start doubting your god because of your condition that's a life of story the bible says this man was sick and died he was sick till he died he was sick until he died so his life was surrounded with stories number two story glory eliminates delay the first thing i say glory, glory does it eradicates story i'm believing god for miracles today number two it eliminates delay somebody said the glory is here i can't you see the glory is here say the glory is here what they said to the lord in verse 21 if you have been here my brother would not have died in other words you came late when glory shows up delay is eradicated delay is eliminated when glory appears in jeremiah chapter 8 from verse 20 down to 22 he said the summer is past the harvest is ended we are not saved in other words everything is almost over he says we are not saved verse 21 says verse 21 he said for the heart of the daughter of my people he said i am black in other words everything is over the situation of my life has affected my complexion he said verse 22 he says but is there no balm in gilead is there no physician there in other words when everyone thinks the harvest is over god can still show up when everyone thinks the summer has ended god can still show up there is harvest after the harvest there is summer after summer when you think it's over god can still show up in other words then others are enjoying harvest and your harvest is not coming when others are enjoying summer and your summer is not coming hold on to the bam of Gilead. when others are enjoying testimonies and yours is not coming hold on to the bam of Gilead. hold on to the great physician and i know in my spirit by the power of the holy ghost even as i heard the voice of god the bam of Gilead is here the great physician is here healings are taking place in your body miracles are taking place in your life Somebody shout the glory is here. Mm. Ooh. Ah. What makes God God is that it doesn't work with your timetable. Fast, pray, study, scream, cry. There are some things that will happen at his own time. I repeat that again fast pray scream confess so do all you know to do there are some things that will only happen you cannot fast it forward it's that's what makes him god you can't pray it forward there are some there are some destiny issues that will only happen at his own time And most times his own time comes can i say this 
most times his own time comes when you stop looking at your time if you are still giving God targets you have not started in this walk with God in our walk with God this is our walk with God you activate his timing when you rest Abraham got a child when he had forgotten about the matter that was why Sarah laughed all the while they were looking at the, looking at the moon and the sun and they were expecting it to happen it didn't happen so they gave themselves peace so when the angel came and said you're gonna have a baby Sarah laughed in other words please 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 leave this thing Abraham hoped against hope he hoped against hope Sarah laughs in other words Sarah said forget it and the Bible says Jesus showed up they say if you have been here and there are many of us today who are saying the same thing that if God had responded on time I will not go through this pain if God had responded on time this thing happening to me will not be happening to me if God had responded on, responded on time this confrontation will not be happening to me I will not go through this mockery in my marriage I will not go through this mockery in my home I will not go through this limitation I am going through now someone said to me yesterday say, I just feel like dropping the tower taking, is it taking his life and letting everything just rest and I said to him why and then I said the story when it was done I said is that all so you didn't hear what I said I said I heard you is there, why do you want to die he said this <laughs> oh god hey and i said to him go have a shower spend time in the bath shower very well eat and sleep you don't have problem i want to take i said you don't have problem whom the Lord loveth, it chastised. I said, you don't have problem. Is this what you call the problem? He said, yes. I said, you don't have one. You don't have one. And when I say you don't have, no, I, I, I'm talking from, you don't have problem. Tell somebody, you don't have problem. No matter how you fast and pray, it will not change divine timing. Prayer does not change things. Don't let people deceive you. Prayer doesn't change nothing. Prayer changes you till things change. Prayer does not change things. Prayer changes you till things change. Prayer gives you... Somebody, somebody's not too happy with me at that stage. <laughs> No, no, no. If prayer changes things, Sarah won't wait for 25 years. Prayer changes you, molds you to be on the same wavelength with God till things change. Faith does not move mountains. Faith moves you till the mountains move. Wait. If thou shalt have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, if you shall have faith as a grain, of a mustard seed if you have seen a mustard seed you will know a mustard seed is rough it's not smooth so when god talks about mustard seed he was not talking about the size of your faith but the ruggedness of your faith he was not talking about the size but the the, the brutality 
of your faith okay the faith is there thou shall say okay so faith is there faith now moves you to say and you keep saying till the mountain moves so faith does not move the mountain faith moves you till the mountain moves wait and there are processes involved there are processes that are involved jesus praying for somebody on the mount of transfiguration elijah appeared moses appears and the foot of the mountain they were battling with a not too smart demon and jesus comes down in matthew 17 from verse 19 downwards and the disciples asked jesus why could we not cast him out and jesus said because of your unbelief hold on because of what for verily thou shalt have faith as a grain of what mustard seed thou shalt say to this mountain remove hence to yonder place and nothing shall be impossible that is the foundation of handling demonic attack but in verse 21 he said how be it this kind meaning even if you have faith you must add fasting this kind goeth not except by fasting and prayer so when jesus comes into the life of a person the lord was talking to me and i was talking the bible the other day john the baptist was a request from somebody who was called the daughter of Herodias, and he said on that birthday ceremony he said anything you will ask up to a half of my kingdom shall be given unto you and he said i want the head of john the baptist so john the baptist in all his capacity in all his violence and brutality was half of the kingdom john the baptist in all his strength and all his glory was half of the kingdom john the baptist who had the capacity of elijah was half of the kingdom the bible says, of all born of women there is no one as great as john the baptist so john the baptist was greater than abraham he was greater than elijah yet he was half of the kingdom when christ comes into your life he's just like what happened when joseph met benjamin joseph saw benjamin and he cried and after crying he gave benjamin five changes of garment what was joseph joseph speaks of the past benjamin speaks of the son of my right hand in other words when you operate in the benjamin dimension you are seated with christ at god's right hand with five change of clothes pastor prophet evangelist teacher am i speaking to somebody the five changes of clothes at the five-fold ministry the other day when isaac saw rebecca in the field he gave rebecca three kinds of gifts he gave her a ring on her nose tree he gave her amlet on her arm am i talking to somebody here and he gave her bangles around her neck what was the ring on her nose tree it was perception he gave her capacity to operate in perception what we call discernment of spirit it is a gift what was the ring on her arm it was the power gift am i speaking to somebody here walking of miracles gift of faith the words of knowledge rebecca was a brand that speaks of the church was a bride we must understand as the bride of christ we have been equipped with the ability to discern god told me he says son the church needs to discern the church needs to learn how to discern because you must understand today that some Sometimes you can have a hit in your car.
hand sometimes you can have not just judas you can have a betraying peter in your camp i might speak it to somebody here god asked me to tell you that all of those gifts inherent inside of you will begin to show up and manifest after now if you're the one shout the loud amen I'm, I'm battling with this microphone seriously number three let me give you number three number three what is number one what does glory do it, it does what eradicate story number two eliminates delay number three it exterminates situations it exterminates situation jesus met them in verse 39 take away the stone and this is my message tonight i don't have another one as i was preparing to come here i had the holy spirit tell me to tell somebody take it take away the stone take away the stone you are not going to die like this placing the stone over the tomb speaks of conclusion you have sealed up that this is how your life should be no no take away the stone i don't know what the doctors have told you take away the stone i had the voice of god to tell you nobody has made impact in your family you've struggled and struggled and tried and tried and tried and it's like it's the same thing no no god says take away the stone The more you pray, the more you see yourself in the revelations, back to the, your village, back to your hometown, going through setback. The more you fast, take away the stone. Take away the stone. Things have happened and you have come to a point, you are almost giving up on life. No. Take away the stone. Take away the stone. Take away the stone. I've seen things in my life that should make me question God. But I'm, I cannot question Him. I've seen things that I will ask myself. Sometimes I just start laughing. And the Lord tells me, you, you have no idea where you are going. He said, you have no idea. You have no idea. If you have an idea, where you are going then you will understand why the battles take away the storm some of us are preachers some of us are pastors it's very easy for pastors to play stones but they have concluded there's a part of them that tells them nothing can happen again god said take away the storm the lord told me that audibly to tell everyone here there's a medical report you have been given there's a condition of life you are in now there's a situation you found yourself take away Stop. something is about to happen i said something is about to happen heaven is about to show up heaven is about to show up heaven is about to show up Heaven is about to show up. Heaven is about to show up. The doctors have said you can't have a baby. The embassies have rejected you, denied you visa. Roll away. Roll away. The God's not going to do that for you. Roll away the stone. He asked them to roll away the stone themselves. And that's what God said I should tell you tonight. Roll away! God can do what man can't do. Run away! The doctors don't have the final say. Run away! You will break even in your family line. Run away! I see explosion coming in ministry. Run away! I see a financial turn around. Run away! I see God changing your story. Run away! Be upstanding, everybody. Be upstanding. Be upstanding.
my father. Be upstanding. Anyway, you are giving God. I don't know why this is coming to my spirit. Anyway, part of you, a part of you, a part of you, a part of you has concluded on situations. A part of you has questioned God on the issues of your life. You are going to ask the Lord for mercy and tell the Lord, I roll away the stone. I roll away the stone. I roll away the stone. Masa Prata Kasha. I roll away the stone. 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 Blessed Jesus. My God. My God. My God. My God. Are you ready to pray? Listen to me right now. Listen to me, every one of us. Listen to me. When God visited, you know, the name Jacob, you know, your name is your identity. So, when they say Jacob, as they are calling his name, they are calling it his identity. The name is a prophecy. The name Jacob means supplanter. Jacob was the only supplanter. Laban, Laban was a cruel man. Jacob was the only man who cheated Laban. Le literally, literally put, Jacob was the only man who for one night a for one night. He scammed a scammer. He played a player. He cheated a cheat. No, 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 no. But this is a problem. When the Lord met him, he said, What is your name? For the first time, admit who you are. Didn't God know his name? He knew. But he needed him to admit. He said, What is your name? He said, Ah. In other words, what is your character? He says, Supplanter. Anyway, I enter. I will, I will. You see the way I'm even holding you now. And he said, Okay. Your name will now be Israel. As Jacob was moving there, he said, Where are you going? He touched his ankle. Because when God, when God changes your identity, He changes your steps. He said, where, 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 What's your name now? Israel. And he was sleeping. He said, Where are you going? Boom. You can't get a new name and walk the way you walked before. Someone step in the realms of the spirit is about to change. Someone is about to walk into rest. Someone is about to walk into harvest. Someone is about to walk into plenty. For watching.